Shane opens a new beauty salon. He needs to hire some hairdressers and find these three candidates online. Bella has impressive experience. Tyler has recently won a prestigious award. Fiona specializes in hair coloring and has a nice Instagram profile. One of these candidates is a liar. Can you guess who? Bella says that she has 25 years of work experience. But according to her profile, she's only 22 years old. That's impossible. So she's the liar. Shane invites Tyler and Fiona to visit the hair salon for a job interview. He wants to test their intelligence and sends each candidate this map. Can you help them find the right destination? Take a closer look. These are English letters. To understand what's written on the map, you need to remove this icon. The hair salon is located over here. Fiona manages to find the beauty salon. Shane wants to test her skills and shows Fiona these 10 tubes of hair dye. Her task is to decide which color is different. Can you help her? This one. What about these 10 cubes? Can you sort one color out? The fifth one doesn't belong here. Shane decides to hire a cleaner for his hair salon, Bobby. Shane asked him to come every Wednesday, but they agree that Shane would pay Bobby $2 per day. But if Bobby would miss a day, he would have to pay Shane $3. After 15 weeks, it turns out that Shane owes Bobby as much as Bobby owes Shane. How many times did Bobby miss work? Bobby missed work nine days and earned $18, but he also missed six days and lost the same amount of money. One day, Shane enters the hair salon and sees two clients. One of them is a runaway criminal. Can you guess who? The lady on the right just gets some styling. Meanwhile, the lady on the left is changing her hair color completely to look different. Therefore, she's a criminal. On Sunday, Shane throws a birthday party at home. He invites a bunch of people. In the midst of the event, Shane decides to show his friend his new diamond watch. But he realizes that it's gone. Shane is sure that the thief is among the guests. He identifies several suspects. Violet says, I came here to keep an eye on my sister, so I was with her all the time. Jeanette says, I arrived because I got stuck in a traffic jam. Everyone's on their way home from work. So annoying. And Mike says, Sorry, I was so hungry that I didn't even leave the table. Who's a liar? Jeanette. People can't come back from work. The party takes place on Sunday. At the party, Shane serves two dishes with cookies. Can you find any differences between them? Here they are. This night, the beauty salon was robbed. The thieves didn't find any money. That's why they took expensive gadgets and some beauty products. The criminal boss gathers all the thieves in his office to decide what to do with the loot. Suddenly, the room becomes completely dark. When the lights turn on again, the thieves notice their boss unconscious on the floor. His assistant wants to find the guilty person as soon as possible, so he questions everyone. Jeff says, I went to the toilet at that moment. Carl says, 
I was checking the stolen money in a special machine to sort out the fake ones. And Paul says, I was drinking my coffee and got scared when the light went out. Who attacked the boss? Carl said that he was going to check the money, but there was no money among the stolen items. Only gadgets, so he's a deceiver. The next morning, Shane enters the hair salon and learns about the robbery. He calls the police. The officer arrives very quickly and examines the crime scene, but he finds no signs of a break-in. He questions three witnesses. Fiona, the hairdresser, says, Yesterday, I finished my last haircut at 5 p.m. and went home. Emma, the cleaner, says, I finished cleaning at 8 p.m., locked all the doors, and went home. And Mia, the nail artist, says, I had a day off because I was attending a birthday party. Who's lying? Mia, take a closer look at her hands and the door. One of her false nails is missing because it's stuck in the lock. Shane is choosing new mirrors for his hair salon. Can you help him spot which mirror isn't fake? Only this one has a real reflection. One day, a foreigner enters the hair salon. He doesn't speak English and communicates with emojis. Can you guess his job? He's a radio host. Shane decides to take some pictures for the beauty salon's social media. Each worker strikes a pose. Can you see any difference between these two pictures? Here they are. Shane arrives at a new beauty product store. He gets lost in the basement and the door behind him slams shut. Shane needs to enter a five-number code to open it. Can you help him crack the password? See this note next to the door? It's a clue. Count the number of corners for each shape and you'll get the code. Three, zero, four, six, five. Finally, Shane arrives at the beauty product store. He spots some weird things about this place right away. How many odd details can you spot? There's a ketchup bottle on a shelf with shampoo. The salesman has four hands. This poster advertises a 120% discount, which doesn't make any sense. And finally, this mirror is lying. Shane is walking down the store and sees something very curious on the floor. It's not alive, but it has five fingers. What is it? It's a glove. Shane is buying one thing. It comes from a mine and it's surrounded by wood. Everyone uses it. What is it? The correct answer is a pencil. Shane comes outdoors and faces these people. Who has a superpower? It's the guy on the right. On holidays, Shane invites his girlfriend to play hide and seek in the woods with his three friends. Suddenly, they find an abandoned house. Shane says, hide over there and I'll seek. 
In a couple of minutes, Shane finds his girlfriend unconscious on the floor inside the house. He questions his friends. Tyler says, I hid in the courtyard behind the fountain. Pam says, I decided not to play and I was reading a book on the beach. Alex says, I was playing in the garden among the roses. And Dylan says, I hid lying down behind the trees. Shane asks everyone to show their hands. Can you guess who's guilty? Tyler. If he hadn't entered the house, his hands wouldn't have been rusty. Shane's brother Kyle is a rich businessman. They have dinner in a restaurant and meet three beautiful ladies. Kyle invites them to eat together. Bella is a promising model. She loves orange juice and dogs. Sheila is a divorced housewife. She has one little daughter. And Ella is a student and an Instagram blogger. She's in love with her car. That night, Kyle was robbed. One of the ladies stole a briefcase with one million dollars. The police caught the ladies the next morning and knew immediately who did it. Can you guess who's the thief? Ella. Someone went shopping. Early in the morning, Shane opens the hair salon and faces an unpleasant surprise. Someone had knocked over a flower pot and left a mess all over the floor. Shane questions three suspects. Fiona says, Yesterday, I had a date. I tidied up my workplace and left at 6 p.m. Bobby says, I washed the entire place and left home at 8 p.m. My wife can confirm my words. And the new nail artist, April, says, Yesterday, I didn't have any clients, so I was watching videos all day and left earlier. Can you guess who's guilty? It wasn't people who did it, but these two rats. Apparently, they got in at night. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.